everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay, I'm 23 years old and I'm a clothing seller on eBay. And today's video is going to be all about how I take pictures. So there's a few different ways that I do it. Um, my favorite way is on a mannequin, but I mean you can kind of see it back there. But um, there's a couple of ways that I'm going to show you guys today that are a lot simpler. I use a combination of all of these me methods just kind of depending on what type of clothing item it is. So before I get into the different kind of methods, um, I just want to talk about the equipment that I use real quick. So the first thing that I think is absolutely necessary, um, even if you are just getting starting out, I think you should get this. And that is a lighting kit. So I have uh, one of these lights right here. And um, you guys will, you'll be able to see it a little bit better in a minute, but um, I think it's like $30 for a set of two of these. And they come with umbrellas that you can stick on. Um, sometimes I like the umbrella, sometimes I don't. Um, if you have the umbrella on the light, it kind of diffuses the light a little bit more and you don't get any harsh shadows, but it doesn't make it as bright. So kind of depending on my mood, um, is if I'll have the umbrellas on or not. Um, so that is what I use to light my photos, but I will say what I wanna start using is the softbox lights because they, um, I think they're a little bit brighter and they're already diffused, but I think they're um, a little bit more money. So just kind of look at the prices and see you know, what you're willing to spend, but I think lighting is super important. So I'll have everything linked down below. Um, I for sure have this link down below and I'll probably add the soft boxes down there. The second piece of equipment that I use is my camera and I'll insert a little clip because I'm using it to film right now. I use the Canon Rebel T6. It is a DSLR. It's really big and fancy and it's not really necessary. It does take really pretty pictures, um, especially if they're like zoomed in like the detail pictures. It takes really nice pictures and I really do like using it. It is a little bit bigger so um, I do kind of want to get something a little bit smaller however it works really good for now don't feel like you have to go out and get a super huge camera if you are just getting started you can use your phone um, I have used my just my iPhone before and it works fine so especially if you are just getting started I probably would recommend just using your phone um, unless it has like a really bad camera you know just use whatever you have even if you have just like a little point and shoot that's probably a little bit better than your phone but you know use whatever you have and you can always eventually upgrade upgrade your tools so the first way that I think is the most simple simplest way is flat lays now I typically only do flat lays for like shorts and skirts and jeans um, because I really don't like doing them. A lot of people say it's really quick. For me, I feel like it takes longer. Um, and the way I do it is on the floor. So I feel like there's a lot of like bending over and kneeling down, which I really don't like, especially when I have my really big camera strapped around my neck. Um, but you can really photograph anything this way. I think if you're starting off, this is kind of the way to go because you don't really need any equipment besides lighting. A lot of people just use a sheet as their backdrop or the like lay it out on their bed, but that does get wrinkled um, and it can look kind of unprofessional. So I have a couple really easy items that I use for a background and it works really well. So I'll show you guys that right now. Okay, so just ignore any mess in the background. <laughs> um, I have a lot of death piles going on right now, but basically this is the first way that I do a flat lay. So this right here is just a light reflector. Um, they're really cheap on Amazon, I think like $17. And then I use one light on each side and I put an umbrella on the one so you can kind of see what it looks like. It does take up a lot of space, so usually when I store them, I just take the umbrella off. Um, for flat lays, I found that the umbrella isn't as important, um, but I just put one on each side that kind of prevents shadows. Um, so this is kind of small. I think I got the biggest one online, but this works really well for jeans and skirts, things that are, you know, that will fit on here. Okay, so there's a pair of shorts. You can see it fits uh, really well on there, and I can, um, usually I just kind of take the picture 
far away, probably kind of like that. And then I just crop it out to try to be a square. Okay, and then this is my setup for larger items. So I have this roll of paper that I'll show you guys a little bit better in a second. But um, I actually got sent it by accident. So every time I try to find a link for it on Amazon, um, I can never find it. But basically it's the same setup. This works really well for larger items because it is a lot bigger. I just have one light on each side again. And yeah, I just take pictures that way. Okay, so this is the roll of paper. It's really big. Um, the only problem with doing flat lays on the floor that way is that a lot of the times the paper gets dirty just from being on the floor. Um, so I wish I had like a really big table that was kind of like low to the ground to take pictures. Um, I don't know if they make anything like that specific for, for photography, but that would be really cool. The next way you can take clothing pictures is simply hanging on a hanger um, up against a wall. Um, this can really easily look unprofessional, so I recommend getting like a really nice hanger and just being kind of more careful and thoughtful. I see a lot of people hang like over a door and I don't think that looks very well so I would just find like a blank wall and you guys will see I just stuck like a command hook on the wall and I hang my hangers on that and um, it just gives like a nice clean background. Um, so the only items I do this for is men's clothing. I don't sell a ton of men's clothing. Um, I don't love it so um, I have it invested in a male mannequin if I sold more men's clothing which I think I will eventually then I would definitely get a mannequin but for right now this works for me it's pretty quick and easy the only issue with this is I find it's hard to get more pictures because it's two-dimensional as opposed to a mannequin it is kind of like three-dimensional so that's the second method that I use Okay, so this is how I take hanging pictures. As you can see, I just use a clear command strip or a command hook, um, stick it to the wall. This hanger is one of those like velvet ones. Um, they don't look the nicest. I would recommend getting a wood one, like a really nice kind of sturdy one, but um, I don't sell a lot of men's clothing, so I haven't done that yet. Um, and then again, I just stick one light on each side. I try to do it so it's like right in the middle of the item. Um, I feel like you get the least shadows that way and it's like the most evenly lit. So the third way that I take pictures that I find to be the most professional looking, for me it's the fastest and the easiest. Um, and it's my favorite way to take pictures is on a mannequin. So you can kind of see it back there. But again, I'll show you guys um, exactly how I get it set up. I think mannequins on Amazon are kind of a little bit pricey. I would recommend looking on Craigslist or if you have some sort of store closing around you like Macy's or Kmart. I know um, you can get mannequins pretty easy there. I would recommend looking there. And also, this is kind of like a preference thing. But I find it really creepy when mannequins have like arms and heads and hairs, hairs, hair, and like, I personally would not buy that, <laughs> buy the item that's listed that way because I find that so creepy. Like when I'm looking up comms and stuff, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like those listings. So I would recommend just getting like a torso. It's so easy to just slip the shirt or dress on and um, you don't have to like, work it around the arms or anything so that's what I use I got mine on Craigslist so I can't like link to it or anything but yeah I would just recommend looking around your local area we spent 30 bucks on ours and um yeah it's pretty good I do eventually want to get a plus size mannequin because that one is really tiny like um size zero dresses kind of fall off of it but for most things it looks you know things look decent on it so I'll show you guys that setup right now Okay, so this is my mannequin setup. Again, I have one light on either side, kind of right in the middle of the clothing item. I keep this little fur rug on the floor. Um, I just had it and I started using it because this mannequin is really short and a lot of times the flooring will show and I just think that is a lot prettier. 
than this carpet. I hate this carpet. <laughs> um, but we're just renting this house, so I have to make do with what I have. But, um, yeah, so this is what it looks like dark. And then when you light it, it just looks really light and pretty. And there's a shadow from the umbrella because I have my ring light on in the background um, just to kind of make the room bright. But, yeah. Really easy and simple, and then I just kind of turn the mannequin in a circle and take pictures at all different angles um, to get a lot of pictures. Okay, and my last couple tips about photography is, one, make sure it's really well lit. Um, I know I said this in the beginning, but customers on eBay can't feel or touch or really see the item, so you want to provide really clear bright images so they know exactly what they're getting and they can feel confident in their purchase. If your image is dark and blurry, people might not want to buy it as much because they might not be completely sure on the color or details or things like that. So make sure it's really well lit and make sure your images are in focus. My second tip is to take as many pictures as possible. I find this easy on the mannequin because I can just like turn it all different ways and take pictures. I zoom in on details um, and I get a tag picture. So um, try to get as close to 12 as possible. I would recommend getting at least five or six pictures for every single item. And thirdly, try to have a um, kind of like clean background. Um, I know eBay is trying to go towards a white background and I do use white for my flat lays but you'll see like I just do them up against the wall which is like a light gray and I think that still looks pretty good because it's like a clear neutral background so um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on a backdrop um, I do want to do that eventually, but it just takes up so much room and like I have to do everything in here and there just isn't room for it. So, um, you know, if you have the money to buy like a beautiful white backdrop, then that's amazing. But, um, just find a wall in your house that is a neutral color and that has like nothing on the wall and use that. That's what I do. And it works really easily. Okay, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I think I got everything, but if you were unsure about something or you, you have a question, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to it or <laughs> and I will reply to you. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to the little subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram. All the information is in the description and I upload every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I will see you guys on Thursday with another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.